Already, New York Attorney General Letitia James has begun salivating at the prospect of taking away President Trump's decades of hard work. Her maniacal grin reminiscent of a snake about to swallow her next meal. James has already filed judgments in Westchester County, the first indication that she is preparing to try and seize President Trump's golf course and private estate known as Seven Springs. She's also eyeing other Trump properties. Trump James is clearly hell-bent on making good on her campaign promise to get Trump. Will you sue him for us? Oh, we're going to definitely sue him. We're going to be a real pain in the ass. I will never be afraid to challenge this illegitimate president. We need to focus on Donald Trump. We need to follow his money. What is fueling my soul right now is Trump. This illegitimate How is she still in power? I mean, the left, it continues to push the very limits of the law. Take, for example, this civil fraud case against President Trump. Did you know that Judge Engoron initially ordered that Trump's New York companies be completely dissolved with the bang of a gavel? But numerous legal experts, even this report in the New York Times, detailed how the only law, only under the law, the, the, the judges, they, they're, not able, they, they're not able to punish an individual, only companies for fraud. And this fraud case against Trump has never been tried in New York's history. And of course, now the exception has become Trump because he became the front runner for the 2024 presidential election. Think about this. They had decades to go after Trump as he built and rebuilt the New York City skyline like he did after 9-11. You've had an impact on the skyline of New York. What is it like as you see it now? It's like a whole different skyline. It's like a whole different city and world. Uh, I cannot believe the sight of Lower Manhattan without the World Trade Center. And therefore, we have to rebuild, not necessarily in that form, but we have to rebuild uh, at least as good and maybe better. Trump helped make New York City the financial capital of the world. And as the left tries to destroy him, they strangle New York City, the economy, and therefore all Americans. When will people understand that what's happening to Trump is more than just the persecution of one man, a presidential candidate? It's the demonization of every American out there who wants to save America from this. An invasion like we've never seen before. The fake news won't even show this video because it proves the point that military-aged men are breaking all barriers to come here and take over. And when the fake news does mention this story, I want you to take a listen to the MSDNC spin. See this onslaught headline? The only thing the Post didn't tell you is Donald Trump said... Blame me for this. Donald Trump said, kill the bill and blame me for everything that happens after this point. Donald Trump said, blame me. So, yes, Donald, we are blaming you. That is gaslighting at its finest. Trump derangement syndrome to the highest peak there. You know, making, you know, get, it, they make you want to question your own sanity when someone blatantly denies reality. It was Joe Biden who rescinded almost 100 Trump border, Trump border orders that, that kept the border chaos at bay, 94 to be exact. We're listing them all right there for you. And, and that bill that Joe Scarborough, he's talking about, that bill allowed for about 5,000 illegals per day to walk into the United States. And the hundreds of millions of dollars in the bill, it wasn't for border security, but to provide more funding for illegals so they could be processed and fast-tracked into this country. The left lies with impunity. But let's go to the videotape to uh, call them out on their BS. The people of this country don't want criminals and people that have lots of problems and drugs pouring into our country. So I will take the mantle. I will be the one to shut it down. I'm not going to blame you for it. The last time you shut it down, it didn't work. I will take the mantle Good. of shutting down. And I'm going to shut it down for border but we security. Believe you that right there, that's addressing down. President Trump, while in office, telling swamp creatures there, like Chuck Schumer, not on my watch.